Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to draw the structure of human female ovary. It looks like a bit complicated but it's very simple. Let's get into the video. So guys, first of all I'm just you know giving an outline with a pencil and later on we'll be using a pen to give much more you know better quality diagram looking like. So guys first we are just drawing the outline with the pencil okay so this is how the basic structure looking like so guys let us just you know just have the basic shape only here and try to rub this you know that is the best method to get clear and beautiful pictures so once we finish this let's go ahead I'm just going to draw it with the pen and some areas where we need light shade I'll be giving pencil diagram so guys here we go try to draw it freehand with the one stroke don't draw with piece by piece okay so that doesn't look uh, convincing so let's go ahead and after reaching all the way like this okay so this is the basic shape what we need and let's go ahead take uh, you know there are so many uh, faces of the egg available in the diagram at remember at a particular stage there will be what one of these faces but in the book diagram we are seeing so many faces at the same time so let's go ahead and you know, first of all we take a small you know on the on the on the compass we will just draw a small circle okay guys so what we are just doing is draw a small thin circle once that is done uh, let's go ahead for drawing much more bigger circle all right over here So we'll draw a much more bigger circle. My compass is just not fixing at that point. Yes, just we need an outline, so that's it. Later on we can rub. Okay. So now here in this area we need a little more bigger circle. So make a compass yet a little more bigger in size and draw another bigger circle all right guys now our basic shape is done so let's go ahead what is next step so first thing is just rub and remove this circle marks okay so that we just have some print there just the impression so that on that we can draw neatly with the pen but remember you are going to draw this with a pencil only so first of all what we'll do now we will fill all this this you know these are the various stages of the egg so draw the egg inside and the follicle surrounding it so to draw the follicle you know what we can do just you know draw like what i am doing spring like structure so this is a very good method where we can draw so many cells at a single time okay and then draw same one and cover the egg okay now it looks like what a particular stage and the silomic cavity everything is there it's looking like you know the glass uh, i mean yeah the egg in the follicle all right let's go at for the same here here it is a bit more grown up as you know and there will be much more what cells surrounding it 
so here this time when you try to draw draw bigger sized little more bigger size cells than the previous see it's so free hand drawing so you don't have to take much tension about that draw second layer also over this okay now we got two layers and now we can cover some cells the cumulus ophorus on which the egg is resting okay so this is the second one and now it's the time to draw you know over here the egg is going to you know burst and ovulation should happen so just draw uh, just half of this follicle and then draw structure like something as broken like this okay so guys uh, later on with pencil we can just label them and this is all showing that something is broken and the egg has come out here okay then draw a circle around the egg and as you know there are very vitiline membrane and then you know uh, various other membranes surrounding the egg now just draw some structures just going out like this radius as you know it is corona radiator all right so these are the corona radiator and zona pellucida and this is our ovum and then let's go by filling in this you know these areas so this is the ovulated follicle and the follicle which is ruptured and the ovum is thrown out now we have to draw the structure of corpus luteum as you know once the ovum is thrown out the corpus luteum is the dead body corpus means the dead body okay so we are supposed to draw the dead body of this okay just put an x mark in the middle and now okay let me switch to pencil because here we need to just shade it with lighter color so the same springs that we drew before now we are going to draw here again but this time we are going to fill the com entire entire space with this you know spring like structures okay so you can use here you know somewhere you can pressure you put pressure and draw somewhere you can leave it like that and that's how we draw the structure in order to get a much more contrast i'm using a pen to the outer side all right so now we have this part let's uh, you know mix it thoroughly with this okay now it's the time to draw the corpus luteum which has gone bigger in size so I'll draw something in the center and you know a scar like appearance here and it's the time to fill you know the same spring this is the method to fill such circular shapes you know that shapes uh, what we drew at the first that impression is what we are using here in order to fill it and we'll get that perfect circle also at the same time we will not have a line over there okay now okay then we can fill more like that inside this okay whole structure has to be filled this full cavity has to be filled with such markings this spring like structures what I mean okay guys so just give an outline to make sure that it looks like you know the corpus luteum all right so in order to get the contrast in the outermost layer I'm just you know managing to draw with the pen so that when you view the diagram in the video you will feel that contrast and one more layer a little below it and let's mix what the remaining layer with the pencil and okay all right done so once pencil diagram is over if you just spread it with your fingertips it will give a good contrast especially when you're drawing with pencil all right 
Next, we have so many other cells remaining in the picture. So, which are they? Now, we can draw so many circles. One is the circle little smaller in size over here. So, as you know, these all are the various stages of the egg, okay? Primary follicle, secondary follicle, then tertiary follicle or the graphene follicle. As you know, this is how, okay, these are the nest cells from where these are produced. And now let's draw some more here, okay? And, all right, so, so many circles we have drawn. Let us complete the work on these circles. So here also we need to draw our, uh, you know, uh, primary oocyte. And then what we did previously, same way, one layer and just try to make what? One more layer it above it. Here we go for the stage before this primary oocyte. Here I'm drawing two layers, one outside this. Okay. Now uh, it is the time to draw this one. Okay, so it all gives that contrast. Now these cells, you know, just uh, I'm going to draw some cells outside it. All right, guys. So this all gives that contrast feeling that these are cells inside the ovary. And then at the end over here, we are going to draw, you know, the corpus allatum. Okay sorry corpus albicans and that also uh, with some shading okay guys so some corpus alatum is not related with this one corpus albicans corpus luteum becomes corpus albicans only in case uh, okay anyway that details of that is not required for you right now and then anyway this is the next part so just giving a shading all right once that is done it's now the structure we are supposed to draw the connection so how is this connected with the uh, you know as a mesovarium or mesorchium is that particular connection of the ovary with the uterine wall so for doing that what shall we draw you know you draw just shapes like this okay looks like you know letter six so draw uh, around you know Six or seven, three, four, five, six, seven, and small, small, small. You draw and end off. Okay, and then draw this line inside this. Hope you get me. So it gives a coiled appearance, and at the end, all right. Let's go ahead for one more such. You know. Uh, coiled appearance over here okay one two three and the book later on it turns the other side so let us go ahead with turning to the other side all right so here again the structure now we are going to do this the opposite way isn't it And this one the end the coil will come out and uh, you know just goes all the way like you know like a spring just ends like this okay guys so our structure is done and this is how we draw the structure of an ovary a human so this I'm just giving the outline to get that particular shape. It's a time to mark the diagram. Let's label the parts. Okay, so this is the structure of ovary and these are the blood vessels. Okay. Okay, now this this structure is called the primary follicle, okay? Primary follicle. And this, you know, secondary follicle, then the tertiary follicle. So let's go ahead for this one. 
as the secondary follicle. And as you know, secondary follicle, primary follicle, all these are follicular structures which is keeping the primary oocyte inside it. Okay, so now we can go ahead for this one. This is the tertiary follicle showing the fluid fill space called antrum. So let us write that tertiary follicle showing the antrum. Antrum. Okay, guys, now next is this one. This is the completely matured follicle called graphene follicle. Okay. Okay, and this is all right. Okay, in order to get a contrast, you can you know this all gaps you can just fill some something with pencil like the same shapes and mix it okay so now let's go ahead for this one this is the ovum or egg and this are the corpus luteum okay so let us take both of them together corpus corpus means dead body right luteum so and uh, I think we have done everything the inner part of this ovary can be you know the stroma the inner part of the ovary to just get a get a clear picture of that or just to get a you know a kind of Yes, it's a good idea to just shade the complete diagram with some vertical strokes like this so all this needs some you know some a little amount of practice and a bit amount of artistic tint but no need of shading too much and uh, you know spoiling the beauty of a of a scientific diagram after that you can just spread it and this is the stroma of the ovary so let us not forget to write the name of the diagram so this diagram now we can call it as the section of ovary human ovary let's give the heading human Ovary. So that's all how to draw the human ovary and various stages inside it. Hope you follow the method of drawing and you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. Provide your support by giving a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye.